Hello everyone. This is my 11th video on sport diagnosis. Today I will show you another rare condition. So this is the image of the newborn who is having the swelling in both the eyes just below the medial canthus at the time of birth. This is cystic swelling, gray and bluish in color. And other eye examination was totally normal. And after few days of the conservative management, swelling was disappeared in the left eye. And even after the one week, this swelling was also disappeared. So what will be the clinical diagnosis? So according to this characteristic finding, blue gray color cystic swelling just below the medial canthus of the both the eyes. Diagnosis is neonatal or congenital decryocystocele or mucosil. So in this image, newborn is having unilateral decryocystocele after one week. And at the time of birth, newborn was having the bilateral decryocystocele. And the differential diagnosis for this condition are, it can be hemangioma, dermoid cyst, or it can be any tumor of the lacrimal sac. But as this swelling was disappeared after the conservative management, so the confirmed diagnosis of this swelling is congenital decryocystocele. Otherwise, we have to go for further investigations and we have to rule out the hemangioma, encephalocele or dermoid cyst or any other lacrimal sac tumor. So in brief about this condition, it is a nasolacrimal duct cyst. It is a benign condition and incidence are 0.1%. It is because of the concomitant proximal obstruction of the Rosenmuller valve and distal obstruction of the Hessner valve, resulting in distension of the lacrimal sac. Mucoid fluid accumulate in the nasolacrimal system. It is present at the time of birth or shortly after birth. And majority of the decryocystocele resolve spontaneously as in our case or sometime digital massage will be required if intranasal extension causes the obstruction nasal obstruction resulting in the respiratory distress as newborn is the nasal breather then the probing or the surgical treatment will be required in this condition so this is all about the congenital decryocystocele thank you so much